5.16 and we're getting ready to leave. Um, we need to be there by 6. It takes about, it depends on the traffic, 30-ish uh, minutes for us to get there. So we're going to go ahead and leave now. Uh, we get up at about 4.30 and uh, you know, we take out the dogs, we make breakfast, we get ready. So have our bagels with cream cheese ready to go. And I'll be able to show you a little bit more of like the classroom and things like that once we get there. Hi guys, it is um, about 5.45 and we are here at work now. And no one's here to open the door yet, so we're just kind of waiting for that. But once they do unlock the door for us to go in, we'll go in and we get a health check our health screening every morning. So because of COVID right now, we go, we get our temperature checked and then there are a list of questions that we have to answer. Some of them are kind of silly when, you know, we see them every day and it's like, have you traveled to any restricted areas, things like that, and just asking about different like symptoms. But so we do that first and then we go back to our classrooms to clock in and then to sign into the rooms on our tablet. Uh, I can't really show you that because it has some of the school's information, but once we get in, I'll show you our classroom and we have some fun activities that we're going to get ready. So I'll explain that once we get in. We have it by week so this is week three so like for example monday breakfast we have this um lunch today <laughs> they're not really gonna love too much it's milk sloppy joes italian green beans pineapple and the bun usually not great <laughs> these are our vegetarian and vegan options again today it's not exceptional afternoon snack soy nut butter with 100% whole grain bread. So we have them by week. This is the whole week. And then when we're done, we just flip it over in the folder. This is our class schedule. They're toddlers, so to be honest, it's kind of <laughs> not a hard set schedule, but this is the idea. Okay, so another thing I do just to start the day, I check everybody's diaper baskets and make sure everybody has enough diapers, wipes, and diaper cream for the day. So you draw on the coffee filters with washable markers, and they do have to be washable. Um, so the kids can color as they, however they want. And then we have spray bottles that are clean. They're, not, they're just water, so they're not used for anything else. But you spray, or the kids spray, the coffee filters, and then the colors kind of spread and expand, and it looks cool, so it's like a little watercolor. And then once they dry, we will go ahead and put the pipe cleaners around them so they look like butterflies. Um, I'll go ahead and do one with you guys just as an example so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we just have some little crafty things that we buy and bring in for the kids. So 
we just left. Um, it's 2.15 now, so we work at 6 to 2. Um, and in shifts like this, we don't get breaks, so uh, we just worked the eight hours. Um, today kind of sucked. I couldn't show you that much. So the classroom I showed you this morning is one that I was usually in, and then somebody else in the other toddler room is out for the past three weeks. So I was covering over there. Today was my first day back in my original classroom. And then they called and said they were gonna be an hour late because they were tired. And then later on, they told somebody else and then they tired, so they didn't wanna come in today. So I ended up being in the other toddler room today by myself until two. So today was fun, um, but that's kind of like a typical thing to expect. Like you get moved around and it's what they need when they need it. So. I don't know, that's something if you're thinking about starting in a daycare to be aware of. You go where they need you. Um, and if you do currently work in a daycare, you know what I'm talking about. Now that we're home, I changed into comfy clothes. <laughs> And I am, we took out the dogs already. And then I'm actually going to edit this video and another video. So if you are watching this one, please be sure to check out the other videos. And if you liked anything that you like this video, or if you like, uh, you know, crafts or ideas for kids in daycare, if you want a week in the life of a daycare teacher or things like that, so I can show you more, definitely leave a comment below and I would be happy to do that. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.